Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about why I feed the supplements and the grain that I do. <laughs> So first thing I'm going to talk about is um, the different grains that I feed. So there is an array of grains that I keep in my grain room at all times. Um, there are also some other ones that are in here right now because when I have horses that come in, sometimes the owner already has them on a grain that they're happy with. And so we just continue feeding that to them here. So the grain I have the most of in my grain room is Show Torque by High Gain. It is a textured sweet feed. It has um, everything from lupins to soybean holes to black oil sunflower seeds. It is a very high protein feed. It's 20% um, and it is a 5% fat. So it is um, not for a horse that's not in a more structured st schedule. So I have a lot of my competition horses on this feed. Um, it one, gives them the energy they need and two, it also builds a really nice top line and supports muscle development. And it is amazing because it's broken down um, in a way that is highly digestible to the horse. So it's one of my favorite feeds that I have here. I have a ton of it in my grain room. So another grain that I feed a lot of is Triple Crown Senior. It is beet pulp based. It's in the mid-teens for protein. And again, I think it's 9% fat. So it's um, a fantastic feed for some of those that need a little bit more fiber in their diet. Here I have Triple Crown Growth. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the whole oats in it. I have this right now because I have Sebastian who is two years old turning three and he really likes the taste of Triple Crown Senior. Um, but it's not quite high enough in the fiber and fat that I need for him and he really likes this one. So even though I'm not a huge fan of the oats, for time being this is the feed I have him on. So this is Purina Ultium. This is a very high fat feed. It is 12.4%. So for some of my horses that are coming off the track that need um, a little bit more filling in or filling out, I guess, um, this is what I'd put them on. It is a little bit more high energy feed, so some of my horses do get hot on it, which is why if that's the case, then I'll put them on maybe Triple Crown with another additive, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, but this is another one that I have in the green room a lot. So on the left here, I have um, Integrity Timothy. And this is one I've had in my green room for years. It is a 13% protein, 7.25% fat. So it's a lower fat and protein content. So some of my hotter horses, especially ones that are coming back to work from an injury or are having time off for whatever reason, um, sometimes I'll gradually switch them over to this just so they don't have as much energy. It is pretty bland. There's not really a lot of additives in it. So um, as where some of the high gain feeds have biotin, or our vitamin E enriched, this doesn't have that. Um, it's not a total feed, but I do feed a ton of supplements as you can see. So I'll go over that again in a second. This one on the right here is Purina Equine Adult. This is again, very, very low energy feed. It's 11% protein, 3% fat. So for my easy keepers like Troy, he gets a scoop of this. Um, basically, there's not a whole lot to it, Again, I have to supplement on top of this because it is not a complete feed, but it's very low in fat. So the ones that are quite energetic, this is something I think about for them. So this is High Gains Zero feed. It is a high fiber, no cereal grain feed. It has less than 1.5% starch in it. So I feed it to Cash, who has Cushing's, and also Remington. Um, it's very high in fiber, I believe it is 15% protein and 4% fat. So again, it's not one that'll necessarily light them up. It is biotin rich, selenium has, has vitamin E, all that. So um, it's a really great feed, especially for horses with metabolic issues. So now I have three feeds that are what I call owner's choice. Um, first is total equine. This is an extruded nugget. It is a total feed um, or a complete feed. It's for Annie Claire. I don't, I used to feed Total Equine a lot, but just because there's corn in it, I'm not a huge fan um, just due to some of the side effects of feeding corn. So 
This is her feed, but no one else gets this. Yeah. Come on in! Cheeto! <laughs> this is Renew Gold. This is Kimber's feed. And her mom has had this feed for her for a while because she has a soy allergy. So this works really great for her. Again, she came in um, on the first of this month, so she would like to keep her on this grain. So that's why I have it in here. Last but not least, um, I have Integrity Senior. It is a textured feed, so to speak. It's beet pulp based. It's not a complete feed, but this is for Roman. This is about how much he gets each feeding to, which is quite sad. He's a very easy keeper. Um, again, it has whole oats in it, so it's not one that I would feed any of my other horses, but Roman's been on this for a very long time and he does really well on it. So that's as much as he gets. <laughs> so these are some of the additives that I will either top dress the grains with, um, or for Callie in her instance, that's all she eats. But this is rice bran, so uh, it's unstabilized pelleted rice bran. Time to go. <laughs> unstabilized rice bran. It's very frequently fed for weight gain um, as a fat source. So some of the horses like Griffin or, um, who's another one? Theo, who we're trying to get a little bit of weight on, will add either a half scoop or a scoop of this uh, per day. So it'll just add a little bit more fat to their diet. So this is shredded beet pulp. I feed this to a handful of my horses here. It's really great for gut health and it's very high in fiber. It does have to be soaked. So that's something to keep in mind for feeding um, just as far as convenience sake goes. But that's always in there as well. This is flaky wheat bran. Um, the only time I would really feed this to a horse other than Callie, which I will talk about in a second, um, one is for colic, if they're colicking to get water into their system, or two, if they have a really high calcium ratio, wheat bran is very high in phosphorus, so it can actually balance that out a little bit. For Callie, this is all she eats because she is allergic to oats, corn, barley, beets, they're a very long, long list. So for her, what we found to work are um, just some pellets and a little bit of this wheat bran. So these are black oil sunflower seeds. I feed these to some of my darker horses instead of rice bran, just because they can help with dark pigmentation of coat. They also make them very shiny. Um, this is a serving of what I would normally feed them, split between morning and night. So that kind of just gives you an idea. I also feed three different types of pellets. I have Timothy pellets, alfalfa pellets, and alfalfa Bermuda pellets, um, all of which are by Mountain Sunrise. And all of those are soaked. So, um, yeah. So this is my feed board. I recommend to anybody, if you um, are managing a number of horses, it's always good to have one of these in case anything happens. You always have it written down what each horse eats in case anyone needs to fill in or in case, you know, you're running out of a certain thing. It's just, it's a good reminder and a good way to stay organized. All these little squares are the color of their buckets that they get. This one's standing for yellow. Um, and then it says where they are, as well as the red is their dry feed, the blue is the soaked or wet feed, and then the green is their supplement. And before I start talking about my supplements, I just wanna say if you are working off um, a certain feed and you're adding supplements, you should always either one, consult a nutritionist or a veterinarian, or two, or both. Um, you can use an online website like FeedXL, not sponsored by them, it's just what I use. It is a paid subscription, but in order to keep all of my horses completely balanced out, getting everything they need, I use that to make sure they're not over on um, any levels that can be detrimental to their health, um, and make sure that they're meeting all of the minimums and not exceeding the maximums. So this is my supplement shelf, and up top here I have just some basic medications. So I have some Butte, um, which is an anti-inflammatory. I have SMZs, which are an antibiotic, and ranitidine, which is um, kind of like omeprazole, which I actually have in the back back there, um, for ulcers. So most of my medication stays in my tack room. These, because they are feed oriented that I put straight into the food or SMZs have to be dissolved, I keep them in here for convenience sake. Then over here I have, um, these are stress less paste, they're called recovery gel 
from Vitalize Equine. Um, sometimes I'll add this in a bucket before we trailer out to go to a show or if there's a high stress environment. It just helps keep the digestive tract kind of calm. Um, so that's up there as well. This is just an empty cup, <laughs> which I use for mask supplementing like my quiescence when I have to distribute it. I have garlic powder here, which is for Griffin. That is mainly for him. It's for digestibility, kind of to help ease his digestive tract. Also, it can help repel flies and insects. Um, I have antihist here. So some of you may know Troy and Callie are allergic to life at times. So this is what I keep in here just in case they do have a little allergy flare up. I can throw a half scoop of that into their bucket and it helps with their hives without having to give them dexamethasone or um, another drug that would have to be veterinary prescribed. It's all natural. Um, in here, these are Cash's Cushing pills, his Percent pills. Um, he gets one a day. I sometimes will put them in a carrot or an apple or I'll just put them in his mash and that's for him. So starting over here, I have Redmond Rock Salt. This is a pink Himalayan salt. It has trace minerals in it, um, over 50 actually. And it's also a source of sodium. So for some of my horses, I do give them electrolytes as well as this, but this is just a good trace mineral base as well as a, as a sodium filler. So as I'm sure you saw on the board, this is something that I give D, Zin, and Troy. Um, some of the other horses I have here are in different electrolytes, um, but as I said, I prefer this one because it does have trace minerals in it as well. So this is Adaptus Alley. I just started using this this month because um, I took Zinn off a different probiotic that he was on, and I just started using this, and so far, I like it. I mean, it's a digestion buffer. It also is pretty high in calcium, so I'm I'm not sure I'm going to keep it in here, but for now, it's, it's doing a, a good job. And my favorite supplement, my liquid gold. Um, this is O3 Animal Health Complete. You guys have probably heard a lot about this if you follow my Instagram or just from my other videos. It has so many pros to using it. I'll just read a few off the side, but it's an omega-3 supplement. It supports healthy inflammatory response, may reduce chance of colic, contributes to a strong immune system, contributes to reproductive success in stallions and mares, aids in proper cell development and function, may aid in conditioning, May reduce oxidative stress, supports healthy balanced behavior, supports healthy skin, may reduce skin allergies, and supports na natural lactic acid levels in muscles. <laughs> so this is the complete. I have Zin, Troy, and D on this, um, kind of ranging in different ounce measurements, which I, was, I listed on my board. So if you guys want to see that, just click back for reference. Um, but they're on the complete. The rest of my horses, except for Cash he's a little overweight, um, are all on basic, which I think measures up really well to the complete. I'm actually a huge fan with how well most of my horses have transitioned from the complete to the basic. It's quite cost effective too. Um, so if you guys, again, if you want to try this out, you can use my code ZL at checkout for $20 off two gallons. So this is Daily Gold. It's also by Redmond Rock. Um, I have quite a few horses on this. It is a clay. It's for digestion, stress relief. There's a number of benefits to it. There's also some trace minerals in it and sodium as well. And it is um, a great powder. I found some of my horses are a little bit finicky to the taste, but a lot of them, like Callie, um, who are allergic to a lot of other calming supplements, this is really fantastic for her. So I have Callie, Griffin, um, my three pilot and I believe who's the other one Jameson on this so I've had success with this for my less finicky eaters the ones that will kind of eat anything it does a really great job so this is in sync four by NVP it is a muscle function immune system blood cell production hair and coat supplement um, this is specifically for Troy. He is actually allergic to Platinum Performance, which is kind of my all-around supplement that I used for um, a lot of my competition horses, but he's allergic to it, so I have to kind of fill in the gaps with a couple other supplements, and MVP, i not sponsored, but I absolutely love their supplements. I've been using them for a very long time, and you'll see there's a bit of a trend. Um, I have a lot of them in my supplement shelf. So, talk about those soon.
So this is at ease. Again, not something that I normally have in my day-to-day um, -day use. This is a little bit more specified. It is a magnesium tryptophan calming supplement. And I normally use it for horses that are either coming back to work or are on stall rest. So, for example, D when he had a very long layup, or Zin more recently with his eye injury. I was trying to keep him nice and quiet and calm in his stall um, as much as much as possible. So this can just help a little bit. It's not going to be something that completely fixes, you know, a hot horse to a lazy horse. But the tryptophan does make them. A little more level I think so again this is not a day-to-day -day, but I do have a few horses that um, are on it at the moment so this is simply flax um, I think I should probably talk about flax and chia seeds together so I'll pull my chia seeds down as well so first I'll kind of talk about flax flax is really high in fiber it's really high in fat and omega-3s and it's very low in sugar and starch so you could technically feed this to a Cushing's horse um, it is a mucilage supplement, so it, it creates a gel in the digestive tract, just like chia seeds. Um, so it actually can soothe um, anything from like ulcers or just an upset stomach. It is 47% fiber. So for some horses that are sensitive to fiber, it can make them quite fresh. Um, so that's flax. Now chia seeds. Um, they're also very high in omega-3s and antioxidants, high in fiber, high in fat, all that good stuff. They're very cost-effective um, for me personally in this location compared to flax, just ground flax. So I tend to feed more of this than this. Also, they're very high in magnesium. So as where flax can make some horses hot due to the magnesium and chia seeds, I don't tend to find as many horses as hot on this. Um, they also, you know, create that gel in the digestive tract. So a lot of my ulcer horses, Troy, Zin, D, ones that travel a lot, I will keep them on this just because it gives me peace of mind. These are my two basic electrolytes. This is the one I use up here. This one is Annie Claire's, so she has her own special electrolyte. They're pretty much the same. Um, they're basic sodium. They do have sugar in them, so, you know, some people like to feed just normal table salt. I recommend that if you have a horse that can't have sugar. So that's those. In the back here, I have Smart Digest Ultra from Smart Pack. These are single well supplements. They are the powder and they are for cash and trip. These are just a digestive supplement. Again, very simple. So one well of those a day. I'm not a huge fan. I know a lot of people really like Smart Packs. I just don't really like the waste, which is why you see I buy in bulk and I have all of my things labeled. I just pour that, recycle the plastic. I just don't like having all the waste. So that's just me. So here is Mayor Magic or Raspberry Leaf. Um, you feed this to mares or stallions to try to maintain normal hormone levels. It comes in a shredded leaf. And I get this really cheap off Amazon. It's not actually Mare Magic. So Mare Magic, most people buy that, um, I don't know, at your local tax store. And it's like $16 for a pound, which is crazy. Sometimes more than that. I get mine off Amazon, it's $9. So when I'm buying that in bulk, it makes like way easier. So I have Callie on this. As some of you know, she is quite a moody mare. And due to the fact that she can't have some of the other calming supplements, this just helps keep her hormone levels in check. So here are two more supplements by Animed. We have glucosamine and MSM. All three of mine, Detroit and Zin, get MSM. It is water soluble, so that's one of the things. It's like with, with this, even though Zin and D get platinum performance, which I will talk about later, that also has MSM. If they ever get too much, they just pee the excess out. Now the glucosamine, this is for Troy. Again, he is allergic to platinum performance, which has glucosamine and all that stuff. So this is what I supplement into his feed so that he gets his glucosamine since I have to add things kind of up and puzzle piece them accordingly. Okay, back to MVP. So these are both two new subs that I'm trying since I'm almost out of in sync for I thought I would try um, a different one for Troy, which is down here. 
But both of these are new to my feed room, so again, they might be here for 60 days and I like them and I reorder, or if I don't really see any change, I might not. So this is Gastroplex. It has, um, gosh, a, a bunch of stuff to support natural digestive function and support ulcers. So, or support ulcer prevention, sorry. Um, but it has, you know, slippery elm and marshmallow root. Those are some natural herbs that are good for soothing the, the digestive tract. Um, so I got this for all three of my guys, just because we are going to be showing a lot more this year. And I always like to think about a healthy gut while they're going off property. This is Matrix 5HA. Again, this is new for Troy. Um, after I found out that he was allergic to platinum performance, I was kind of trying to figure out a supplement that would have chondroitin and MSM and glucosamine in it um, and, and HA because he's allergic to that. So I just put him on this. It does have 10,000 milligrams of glucosamine, 10,000 of MSM, 2,500 of chondroitin, and let's see, 125 milligrams of HA. So this is what I have for him. He is in pretty decent work and he is 11 this year. So I wanna make sure I'm taking care of his joints. Now this is Vitalize Digest More. I recently was sent this actually, and it smells really good, kind of like vanilla extract, I guess, but it is a nutrient absorption supplement. So it's for digestion. The only one on this is Remington. I did have Sebastian on it, but Sebastian more recently has decided that he doesn't like any supplements in his feed. So Remington is the only lucky guy on this right now, mainly due to the fact that I have mine um, just on, on different probiotics. This is tri-amino. So for my horses that are on a grass hay diet, um, this is lysine, oh, let's see if I can say it, methionine and threonine. And it is a powdered supplement. It is not for finicky eaters. I have noticed that a lot of my horses that are a little bit finicky in, in their food, they're not a big fan. This is for um, muscle development. So frequently what we'll see in a lot of horses, one of my biggest tips too, for people trying to build top line, if you're doing the work and you're not seeing the results, you might be missing one of your three main amino acids. Very frequently, if you have a horse on a grass hay diet and you're not supplementing amino acids, they could be short. Again, I would talk to a nutritionist or a veterinarian, but sometimes when their top line is lacking, it's because they can't build the muscle fibers because they don't have the amino acids to do it. So try amino, it's very cost effective. I think I got it off Big D's for like 30 bucks or something. Um, really great supplement if you don't have a finicky eater. I wish they had it in a pelleted form. I think it would be a lot easier to feed, but um, for some of mine, like Callie, who's on a grass hay diet, this is really, really important for her. So this is my big tub of quiescence. I order it in 50 pounds, so I can't lift this up, but here's my little sup cup so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, this is a magnesium and chromium supplement. It supports level headedness and um, calm balanced behavior, I think is what they say on the front of it. It, you know, it's it's a really fantastic calming sup. It, it doesn't make them, again, it doesn't make them sleepy, but for some of those that might be a little bit spooky or aware, or right when they come off the track, um, it, it can help in that. One of the things I have noticed with this supplement, it says that it is to reduce crestiness. So for the ones that do kind of store a little excess fat on their top line, which looks nice, it will tend to get rid of that, um, which is kind of a bummer, but otherwise um, it's a fantastic supplement. I know it increases circulation and a bunch of stuff like that. So it's one I always have here. It's probably one of the best calming supplements that I've found. Um, it is quite pricey though. so. That's why I order it in bulk. These are Annie Claire's Smart Packs. She gets three, um, I think they're called wells, three wells of her senior joint and one leveler, which is a hormone and calming supplement. So hormone balancer, she's a moody mare. So that's what she gets. She gets one of these every single day along with her um, electrolyte. And yeah, that's that. So this is Chase Tree Berry Powder. Um, I order this off Amazon because it is cheaper. So this is known for balancing hormones, again, in mares, and sometimes it can actually aid in muscle discomfort. 
So that's why I have this. One of the wells I just showed you that was in Annie Claire's Smart Pack is from MVP. It's called Leveler. It's quite expensive. And when you look it up, it has magnesium, raspberry leaves, and this, and a couple other things. But in order to make it a little more cost effective for me without the fillers, for Cali, I just buy this bulk, I buy Mirror Magic bulk, and I buy magnesium bulk. Um, much easier. So that's why I have this. Again, helps with Moody Mare's hormones. And it smells quite strong. So, funny story with this one. Um, this is Ultra Cruise Equine Probiotic Sup. Um, my mom had ordered this for Roman, and it's a powder. They have a powder and a pellet. The powder was cheaper, but Roman wouldn't eat the powder. He would only eat the pellet. So, D lucked out. He got the one of the best probiotics on the market. Um, from what my mom told me, it was quite cost effective. It is the highest CFUs, I believe, on the market for the price. And um, just due to Dee's ulcers that he had, I've been keeping him on this. Dee will eat absolutely anything that I put in front of him. So he's been doing well on this. I think it was a 160 day supply. So I'll probably be reordering in a few months here. But um, again, no one else would eat this at the ranch. Dee was the only one and I'm very lucky because he was the one that needed it. So I have four more bins down here. One of them is a bulk bin of this stuff. So I figured I would just lift this up. Um, this is Ukili, not sure. It's just magnesium oxide, pure magnesium oxide. It is a very fine white powder, almost like flour, maybe finer than that. Um, and it's just pure magnesium. So again, it's, um, for Cali is a big one who's allergic to most things. It's mainly why I have it in here. It's also extremely cost effective. I think it comes out to be like $10 a year when you buy it in bulk. It's $26.99 off Big D's, I think. And this is 10 pounds. There's 1,340 doses in here. It's also four grams of magnesium. So it's just really convenient to have, especially for um, horses that come in whose owners maybe don't want to necessarily buy a supplement for um, muscle function or even calming. This is a good one to just try because it's so cost effective. And again, magnesium is water soluble, so if you have an excess of it in their diet, they just pee the excess out. The only thing that will be kind of a bummer about that is you'll probably be paying extra money. So this is Biotin 100 from Animed. I buy it again in bulk off Coro. Um, it's just a powder. Most of my horses will get just a half a scoop of this because the ones that are eating high gain, their feed is already enriched with biotin so they don't need it. But for Cali or for some of the younger horses um, that are eating, like Theo, who are eating pellets or um, we want them to improve on hoof growth, I'll feed them this. And again, it's water soluble so too much can't necessarily hurt them. So this is Platinum Performance. I'm sure a lot of you know what this is already. This is probably the best supplement on the market. It is veterinarian developed. So it has absolutely everything in it. Um, you can give your horse anywhere from one to four scoops a day. So <clears throat> D gets two scoops, Zin gets one scoop, Callie gets one scoop, Pilot gets one scoop. Um, they're not hitting the absolute maximums, which is why I also will substitute in some other supplements to make sure they're hitting the maximums that I am really um, wanting them to hit. For example, glucosamine is a big one for D. So with this, it's quite expensive. This big tub is $102. Um, it's a month supply at one scoop a day. So for that, you're not hitting the absolute maximums in a lot of things like amino acids or um, glucosamine stuff like that when they can have 10,000 milligrams of glucosamine and MSM you're not hitting that exactly which is why I'll also substitute some other things in um, with this with all the horses I have here not everyone is wanting to spend that much on supplements so for a younger horse that doesn't necessarily need glucosamine MSM chondroitin HA and all these other things they might be fine on just a multivitamin and triamino or um, one of the probiotics I have and you know some some trace minerals or something like that. So that's why not everyone is on this. D is on two scoops, Zin is on a scoop and a half, Callie's on a scoop and a half, and Pilot's on one scoop. So those are my horses on that. 
I personally love the way it smells. They have a lot of different formulas for this. They have Allergy and CJ and all these different ones. The CJ Complete Joint is extremely expensive. So we just do the general wellness for everyone. Um, Zin for a while, I have another bin down here with more of it. Um, he was on the gastro complex and since I've just decided to put him on gastroplex from MVP and just keep him on the wellness. A little more cost effective. So these are psyllium pellets. Um, this is quite heavy, so I'm going to show you this now and then I'm going to drop it. This, you can find these in every single tax store um, for the most part. They're for decreasing the risk of sand colic. They are a mucilage pellet, so they form a gel and kind of help move the sand through the digestive, digestive tract and hopefully out the rear end. Um, I feed this once a week every month and it's just again my horses all have sand in their corrals and even though they do have feeders and mats where they eat it's kind of inevitable horses are going to be horses they're probably going to get some in there as well so to decrease the risk of that i feed psyllium now this most of the time is over a hundred dollars i think it was right under a hundred on amazon 87 or 92 something like that so that's where I get this. Um, there are a lot of different brands, but if your horse is eating in sandy conditions, like in California, this is kind of a must have for, for their diet. So last but not least, this is Megacell. It is um, similar to InSync 4, as it is a immune support, muscle function support, blood supply. It does a bunch of things. I can read it to you, but Really, more than anything, it's my substitute for InSync 4. Again, really cost effective. On Smart Pack, an 800 day supply of this is $160, which sounds like a lot, but I think that comes out to be like, what, 17 cents a day or something? Seven, I don't, math. Um, but this is, uh, this is the grass hay formula. So this is specifically for Troy. And it is for, it says on the label, is formulated for grass, hay, grain diets, providing vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and fed direct microbials that can be fed to all classes of horses. Supports in muscle development and normal function. So again, this is the grass, hay diet. Troy doesn't eat any alfalfa, so this is specifically for him. They do have one for alfalfa diets as well. I think it's called EZ Mag, E hyphen S E hyphen Mag. Could be wrong about that. But that's for the um, alfalfa diet. So that's my last one. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are looking at the shelf, um, especially after everything I've just gone over and are feeling extremely overwhelmed. I think it's really important for horses to have something that is personalized to them when it comes to their feed routine. Not every grain will work for every horse. I see a lot of big barns that have one, two, maybe three grains in their feed room. And for me, it's just a little unrealistic. Just like people, all horses are different. They all have different needs and requirements from their age to their workload to what we're trying to work on as far as weight loss, weight gain, any metabolic conditions that they have. Um, it normally means that they're probably going to be treated a little different than the horse next to them. So by breaking down my feeds and having different supplements, I can puzzle piece together what each horse needs to be the most successful and to have the healthiest diet. And that's why I use Feed XL. It just makes sure that I kind of keep them all on track. Again, I think it's really important to consult with your veterinarian or a nutritionist to make sure that they're on track with you when setting up something for your horse. Um, but this is just what works for me and my horses. And whenever I have a horse come in, it kind of just depends what things we need to work on as far as like weight or hoof condition, coat condition, um, if they have GI issues, then I can kind of formulate something for them. Before I say goodbye, one of the last things I just remembered, if you guys are making changes in your feed, make sure to do it gradually over 10 to 20 days. I normally do about two weeks of a slow gradual change and bumping them up to where I want them to get, just so that you're not stressing their GI tract. Um, they say, I learned this on SmartPak, that the risk for colic increases 10 times while changing grain. So make sure and do it nice and slow and um, yeah. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Feel free to comment below what your horse eats and what are some things that you are trying to do with your horse. I hope this wasn't all too boring for you guys. It's uh, probably my favorite thing is what to feed horses. I'll see you guys all next time. Have a great day. <laughs>